what up y'all so today um part of this fight me preparing for this fight uh once again i told you i'm, I'm the co-promoter of the fight so all of the business stuff is a lot it's a lot to it outside of that just as a fighter you got to go through a battery of tests to make sure you're healthy enough for the ring so um i'm at outside of uh, a cardiologist I went and got all my tests done, all of the things that they asked me to do already uh, from my doctor and um, all my blood work, everything. Everything checked out, everything was good, except for one thing. They said that I might have a heart disease that could be hereditary if it is a heart disease. It's called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Uh, I said that pretty smooth, right? But um, now my father had a heart attack when uh, he was in his late 40s. So I was like, well, maybe it is. So uh, I talked to my dad about his heart situation. He didn't have a heart disease. He had clogged arteries. So my father having a heart attack was based on his lifestyle, drinking, smoking, eating fat, fatty food, processed food, and not exercising. And my dad, my dad worked out all his life, but he did have a period where he just, he got big, you know what I mean? You see him now, he's the picture of health. But anyway, so we kind of X that part out. It's not hereditary in me. I don't have heart disease in my family. So what the other thing, the other side is, which the cardiologist told me, he said that more than likely I have what's called athlete's heart. He says usually in like marathon runners and really like endurance uh, athletes and sometimes in weightlifters, it's just so much blood being pumped through your heart, so much hypertrophy, you develop muscles around your heart and it, 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 it makes side, the, the side that's pumping is doing it so much is getting stronger and getting bigger i don't really understand the whole science behind it but this is what he was explaining to me he said it's not dangerous it happens in athletes it's called athlete's heart so they thinking it might be that but uh i did an ekg already i got to do a, a echocardiogram and a stress test just to make sure just to be cleared and i want that for peace of mind as well because if it is some kind of heart disease shit, i need to know so i can fix it now I'm gonna tell you this. This is also what the doctor said. Like just because you have something that's hereditary doesn't mean that it's gonna happen to you. Your lifestyle can mitigate that or aggravate it. So, you know, say you do have heart disease in your family and you eat shitty, of course you're gonna get a heart attack or something bad is gonna happen. But you can have bad things in your, in your family history, but if you're living clean, eating good, exercising, drinking plenty of water, eating your veggies, it won't happen to you so that's something to think about all right so about to go in here and see what it do see what happens all right i can't help it i worry too much i can't help it I've always been like that what's been happening something weird no nah, just uh my ekg shows that i either have card card Cardio hyper. Wait, I'll show you. First time for all this? Yeah. You've been having symptoms that bring you in, or just kind of a no. physical kind of thing? I had an uh, EKG for clearance for a fight for a boxing match. Got it. And I just want to see what this was. What's, what's athlete's heart? Um, it can be a couple different things, but usually athlete's heart is either the heart enlarging, getting thicker, mm -hmm. or actually dilating because of type training so is that bad i mean it can be it just depends you know um it, it, a lot of things on the heart that are acute meaning they come on quick and leave quick they don't really do anything permanent damage but if it's some things are left untreated like high blood pressure and things like that for a lot of years it can sometimes leave uh, lasting effects like that but this test will be good for you because it will test your heart at rest and it'll test it at stress so we'll kind of get a good idea of So maximum heart rate for him is what, 180? 180. 180. 180 is what you guys want to get? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to push it about 180. That's not where you should be training. All right, do you check your pulse when you're working that? It's not trying to watch that, that's a lot reliable. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to be training at 180, but we're going to push you to 180. It kind of depends on how you feel. Yeah, so every three minutes we'll get a little faster, a little steeper. Now the thing is, we don't cool down, so when we finish, they told you we're going to get you over here, so I want to see how your heart's pumping when it's going fast. 
But it doesn't go up when you exercise. That means the heart can't keep up with what you're doing. So we want it to go up. Up to a point. Super high, but it's supposed to go up. Alright, about 30 seconds to go to the next stage. Still gonna be a walk. Probably be the one after that that we do the run. tired from going up the hill that people have to stop for. But I expected you would do great, you really are. This is all looking very good. Yeah, I can do this all day long. Really good. a stress test and we're looking for several things. First of all, how far can a patient go on a treadmill? And as I said earlier, most people couldn't go anywhere near as far as you did. So no matter what, we know your heart's good just to let you go on the treadmill that far. Number two, does the patient get any sort of symptoms when they're working that hard? You didn't have any of that. Number three, there's some things sometimes that we see on the electrocardiogram if the heart's getting into trouble and yours was perfectly normal. And number four is we can actually see what the heart looks like. We can see what it looks like at rest, and we can see what it looks like when we stress it. Are you interested in seeing your heart? Yes. Let's look at it. I'm going to turn the light down. All right, so there you have it. I heard fantastic news today. He said your heart is as perfect as it gets. I like that. So anyway, I had a little scare, but all I have is what's called athlete's heart, and a lot of athletic people have it. Just your heart develops a little muscle from all of the years of pumping blood hard, you know, uh, cardiovascular. I do a lot of, you know, y'all don't know, but I've done a lot of cardio all my life from boxing and now I'm back to it. I'm doing a lot now, so that's it. There's nothing to worry about. Arteries are just pure and clear. I actually had a calcium test done as well. And a calcium test is a zero to whatever, zero being perfect, no chance of a heart attack or clogged arteries. And I had a zero, so that's good as well. So. Everything is good. I'm cleared to fight. So a lot of anxiety that I was having is gone. You know what I mean? So let's do it.